First thing we're going to do is program the soft top module, which is this the USB connection right here. So I'll take this, plug it into my laptop. You do need a laptop with an internet connection in order to download the, the software and check for the firmware update and then program your module. It takes about three or four minutes. Uh, we'll do that in a minute. Back in a second. Okay, so we're going to take the, uh, the module for the smart top uh, for the R170 and I've got it hooked up to my laptop and through the, uh, to the USB. And the very first thing I'm going to do before installing it is to change the firmware uh, or see if there's a firmware update and to um, change the settings and anything that to, to what I want from the factory default. Uh, you might not want your top to open over 20 kilometers an hour. You might want to open at 40. It uh, depends. There's different settings you can set. So anyway, um, I've downloaded the M4 Connect software uh, from the uh, Mod for Cars website. And once the, uh, the module is plugged in by USB, I'm just going to simply double collect that. Hit connect. Scan. Connection successful. I'm going to hit firmware and then check for update. I've got the latest version of the firmware, so that's basically done. Um, remote is for a remote session, allowing you to troubleshoot. That's so you can log in with the, uh, you can log in with this hooked up and uh, talk to the company, one of the company representatives, if you're having problems. So basically, I want to go to settings. And you'll see here, you get to settings and hit read from module. And that's function one, two, three, four, five. And that's the functions. That's what they're set at right now. One, two, three, four. And then write to module was what you will hit once you decide which function you want. So I've already got the page pulled up. So I'm going to go here and these are the functions. So function one, module disabled, setting zero. So if you were going to take your car into the dealership to be scanned on the, um, a star scanner, if you're going to run an OBD2 test, anything like that, you're going to, that's why you leave the USB cable hooked up. So, um, once we install it, I'll show you the hookup. It's not hooked up now, but we're going to leave the USB cable in a good spot so I can hook the laptop up to it and turn this on and off if I ever have to take it to the dealership or hook up a, uh, an OBD2 to it or my Mercedes scanner. Setting 1 is on, module enabled. Setting 2 is delay radio and windows stay on for 3 minutes after ignition off. So I want mine on setting 1. So I'm go back to the mod for cars. And function one is already on setting one. So setting two, function is convertible top one fun, uh, one touch. Um, off is setting zero. Enabled with windows up after top open. So that's if you open the top, you want the windows to go back up or stay up. That's what you'd set on number one. Number two, same as one, but windows down after top open. Uh, allow ignition off during top operation. Same as three, but windows down after top open. So I want setting four for my second one. So I'm going to go to number second one, and I'm going to change to, oops, four. Uh, function three, remote control enabled. Plus windows up after top open. Same as one, windows down after top open. Allow ignition on during top operation. Allow ignition the same as three, but windows down after top open. So that means you can start the card during uh, while the top is being operated. So I'm going to take setting four for function three. Okay, so number four is the kilometers an hour you want the top to be able to operate it. I don't want to go over 20 kilometers an hour just in case. Um, 10, 10 and 20, <laughs> 60 is definitely way too fast. I think, I mean, you might, I don't know to me, 60 is too quick. Um, let's go for 20. So I'll go for setting two on function, function four, setting two. And you can come back any time after these are these have been done. You can go back and, and hook up your laptop to it at any time and reset it and reprogram it any time if you don't like it. Chirp signal, no chirps or chirp briefly when locking. I'm going to keep the chirp on, so setting one for function five. So I'm going to keep my chirps on and then right to the module. 
So it says settings written to module successfully. And I go to USB connection. And I'm going to disconnect. Always do this before you disconnect it. Disconnected. So I can unplug this. Because my computer doesn't allow disconnecting the other way. So anyway, I've disconnected it. Um, so that's it for setting up the module. And again, this can be reset up anytime uh, this USB plug comes with it. Once this is installed under the hood inside the electronics box, this wire can be just sitting under the box. You could pop the lid off and then hook this right back up to your uh, laptop and change the settings at any time if you don't like the settings. And you'll also have to do that again to, um, if you're taking your car into the dealership for anything or if it's gonna be on an OBD2 code scanner or a Mercedes star scanner, or you're taking in for service for any reason, you'll put this on and then change the function. You'll, un you'll hook it up and change the function to off. So the module will be disabled and everything on the car will be back to normal. So that's it for setting up the module. And all we have to do now is install this.